Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater walkthrough. On the last episode, we met up with Eva, who apparently for some reason was, re was the replacement of Adam, who couldn't make it. And we got effed up by the boss yet again. So, in this episode, well, you'll see what happens. Hmm, interesting. Looks like a portable toaster. Actually, a normal toaster is probably more portable than that. Oh, more pervy moments. This game is full of that stuff. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. I never understood. This is kind of a weird thing to wonder. Well, that kind of looks more like a bathing suit than underwear. The unit. Let's get out of here. Hurry. I mean, I'm just saying. Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand. Damn it! I saw a lot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. All right. Uh, I could be a badass and face them like a man, or I could just come down here. But even better, what I could do is, oh, I can't go back in. Oh, hold up. Yes, you can. Check this out. Crawl into the bed and equip your knife. kind of takes a while, but you can just stab the crap out of them from down here and they will never see you as long as you stay down here. Check this out. What's wrong? They just have to be a bit, there you go, like this guy. Probably not gonna do this for the whole time though, cause oh god! They didn't know they did that. Yeah, this this is gonna take a while. Maybe I should have just gone down there. Guy here. Where did he go? Hmm? What? And now we play the waiting game. Just gotta make sure they don't look down here. Just my imagination. Just my imagination. However, this is gonna take a while since I shot them in the leg. Huh. <gasps> 
There we go. One. No. Nice. Two. Three. Four. Nice. Ah. Uh, that was awesome. I don't know why I never thought about doing that. One of them's up here. Gotta be pretty cool. Oh god! Ah. Oh god! Probably heal myself. While you're in first person mode, if you press L2 and R2, you can move sideways like this. If you press both of them, I guess he gets on his tiptoes or something, but you can see a little higher. Hmm. I guess it would help if I had better camo, huh? You actually gotta walk back here for this to happen. So. Yeah, there you go. One. I've 
been waiting for this moment. Six. That was six shots. Why did the last three sound so far away if he was right there? That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? More the awkward Metal moments Spy? with Metal Gear. Yay! This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? <laughs> well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. Very literally. We'll see. He doesn't have bullets. Snake is such a smart ass in this game. Especially when talking to Ocelot. Six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! Oh, Ocelot. This isn't over yet. That decision will change the course of Metal Gear history for the no, next 50 years. Me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does! Pretty much is going the same way they went, but first let me see if I can get something. Ah. 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 And why not? Let's have a little chat with Sigurd. Yo, you're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am THE expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Ah. I'm the guy that designed your Trank Gun, Active Sonar, and Motion Detect. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. There are th certain things that you can do to make Sagan say, to have really funny conversations with Sagan. Um, one of them, actually, is... Get in the cardboard box. And call him. Hey Snake, remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip of that 45 well, down? first you yeah. gotta... I've never heard of a customization like that before. Why the grip? For some reason, he doesn't the actually start knife. saying stuff until a certain You're point. You're gonna in keep the, game. the knife and the gun both at the ready? 
That's the idea. Why would you want to do that? Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. Badass. So that's that. CQC. CQC. Oh well, I'll do it later. There are other things like wearing the naked camo and, um, option. Actually, if you would have done that with the boss, something funny would have happened too. But it's kind of late for that. Alright. Uh, dang. There was a point I could get the thermal goggles somewhere, but I forgot where. All I remember is that normally you have the thermal goggles by this point, which would have helped. Because there are crocodiles here, but I can't really see them. I mean, some of them you can see, but some of them kind of have to be careful. And if you're kind of some weird kind of sucking noises while you're on here it's because you're gonna start getting leeches on you while you're on this uh, pond or lake whatever you want to call it so after you get out you gotta remember to take them off immediately because your stamina will start to drain dramatically if you don't take them off Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, that's one right there. Ha! Ah, thought you were gonna twist me, Mr. Crocodile. But I'm a human! I'm smarter than thou! Now, I shoot you. <laughs> oh, I killed him. Let me get some of that crocodile meat. Could have certainly had a tranquilizer equipped. Guess not. If you have leeches on your body and you call the paramedic. Snake, look at your body. Yep. Looking good. <laughs> not there. Then where? Wait. See the leeches? leeches? I'm not really sure what he meant by that. Yeah, you've got leeches all over you. Leeches will sometimes attach themselves to you if you spend a long time in the water or the swamp. When you've got leeches on you, they'll suck your blood, causing you to lose stamina. You should get rid of them as soon as possible. To get rid of leeches, go into Cure in the Survival Viewer and press your cigar into them. Or, if you use the insecticidal bug juice ahead of time, the leeches won't bother you as long as the bug juice is in effect. I almost forget that, actually. But it's not really that big of a deal. I mean... You don't really run out of cigarette. Wait, what am I doing? See, if you zoom in, you can actually see the leeches right there. Yeah. Okay, I kind of forgot how to zoom in, but oh, well, there's zoom out. Anyways, yeah. So let's burn that sucker off and. Burn that sucker off. By the way, oh, uh, did not mean to have that view. If you spin Snake around for a while, I think this happens with Snake, or maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna test it. Spin him for a few seconds. Spin, 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 spin. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Guess not. Never mind. I could have sworn that it made him. Th oh, there you go. Ha! Ah, just. That made me laugh, sorry. Snake, are you there? Ha, ah, and I got a, I got a trophy for that. Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. 
Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to. Even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. All right. Now, don't be stupid and fall for this trap right here. Or Eva will pretty much call you stupid. You can either shoot it, make it go off. Or you could always just roll over it like this. Oh, God. I can't... Now Eva's going to call me stupid. Snake, be careful. I might not have told you this yet, but that swamp is rigged with traps. Tell me about it. So you know already? Yeah. Well, then you're all set. The traps in that area are set to go off when a rope stretched along the ground is disturbed. Keep a close eye on the ground and make sure you don't trip over a rope. I mean, far be it from me to call you an idiot who can't avoid even the simplest of traps, but you know... What's the matter? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, when you see a, a red bar on your health, that means you have an injury. And that red part of your health won't heal until you get to take care of the injury. Why do I keep going to conflict? Wow, I have a severe cut on my freaking jugular. Alright. There are mines here, I do remember that. So this the mine detector is gonna come in handy here. Where is it? And I kinda have my TV turned down. The mine detector in this game just makes noises when you're near a mine. So I might not be able to hear it because of the fact that I have my TV turned down so my microphone doesn't pick up the TV. So yeah, I hope I don't run into one. Electric fences. These fences are electric. You can barely tell, but every now and then you can see a spark coming out of them. This one's simple. You gotta just crawl under it right here. I do believe I hear beeping. I'm just gonna crawl. See, there it is. There's a mine. If you trip over this line, it'll set this off. This is pretty. This pretty much just makes noise, so enemies will know that you're nearby. All right. Um, I'm just gonna get those over there too, just in case I ever need them.
There it is. You can either shoot this. Actually, either way, you're gonna have. Oh, fuck. Stupid dog. Ugh. You know we're gonna have to go over it because you can't really go through a fence. Bring it, freaking dog. Stamina is low, so. Uh. Mm, he always likes snakes. Oh, yeah, every now and then that will happen. You can actually see it meet it. You can skip it by pressing just about any button, but. Eh, I'll show you one of every video. I'm not really sure what he's eating here, though. Every time he freaking bites, he spits it out. Oh, I guess not. Never mind. See? Look at that. What is it eating? The blood? God, that looks disgusting. Well, apparently it was tasty. two ways. You can go either that way or that way. Both of them will end up taking you to the same spot, so I'm just gonna go this way. If you see a guy talking on the radio, you do not want to tranquilize him or kill him Patrol until here. after he's done with talking. Side of the Otherwise, HQ Going will send in reinforcements to check out why he stopped talking. is displayed in the polygon demo. Press the first person view button to polygon demo. Oh, crap. Now this guy's gonna come in nicely. <laughs> Got him. Dang it. 
Man, I really was not expecting this to go out, to go so badly. But wow, uh, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Sorry, I didn't think it would take this long. But I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna sit right here. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to tell your friends about us and subscribe and like this video if, obviously, if you like this video. Keep try, make sure you keep up with our walkthroughs. We have plenty of them. We have Skylanders. We have Amnesia. We have Metal Gear, and we have Alan Wake. So there's plenty of walkthroughs for you to watch, and we're working really hard to make this channel as good as we possibly can. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.